Thanks, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at our forecast here this morning. You can see several scattered showers popping up this morning, mainly the heavier rainfall staying off into Georgia and right along the coast. But we will see the chance for rain today, mainly east of I-65. So if you're in Gadsden, just like this morning, just south of center, seeing a shower developing there, Piedmont, and also down through the southeast, Wadawi, Ashland, Rockford even. The more you go to the northwest, the drier the air and uh, the more isolated the shower will pop up. And you can see it's even clear back there as you go to Hamilton, Lamar County down into Pickens County seeing clear skies west of I-65 here. We still have the cold front well back to the northwest. It's going to continue to push in our direction and finally pass through as we go into Friday. All day Friday clearing skies throughout the day and that's going to set us up for a beautiful start to fall and a beautiful football weekend. It's high school football on Friday night and football on Saturday. It is going to be sweatshirt weather once that sun goes down on Friday. Make sure you have your sweatshirt on hand but otherwise look at Saturday on Titan Cast here 9 o'clock in the morning. A little bit of cloud cover. We're going to have wraparound moisture this is going to not only bring cloud cover for Sunday, but also a chance for rain Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Well, very small chances for rain. But here's what it feels like out there as you're heading out the door. 67 degrees in Tuscaloosa, 66 in Gadsden, 69 in Anniston. Quick look at the seven-day forecast, 80 degrees as we start off fall, and then dropping 78 degrees on Saturday, 79 on Sunday with beautiful sunny skies there. That chance for rain moves back in for Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, just a very isolated chance of rain. But look at those temperatures going right back up to the mid 80s. Rick. Those are just some of the stories on Wake Up Alabama this morning. Hello, everyone. I'm Brooke Smith. I'm Stephen Houck, along with Rick Jackson and Kaylee Dion. Thanks for joining us this Monday morning. And if you're one of the folks who doesn't have a lot to do because of being off from school today or maybe out of work, first off, congratulations to you. <laughs> and now, CBS 42 weather. All right, here we are dealing with cloudy skies this morning and just a bit of light rainfall in parts of the area. But if you look at the entire nation, we have a line of showers and thunderstorms that are building along a cold front. There's also showers and thunderstorms that are building with a low pressure center in the northern parts of Florida. Both of these features are going to impact us as we go through the rest of the week. So let's zoom in on this one. This low pressure center quickly developed, causing flooding and gusty winds in the northern parts of Florida. Now southern Georgia and northern Florida under tornado watch this morning and into the afternoon. The outer bands are going to make it in our direction. So we aren't going to be dealing with the gusty winds. We are not going to be dealing with any severe weather, just some light rainfall through the day today, also through and into Tuesday and Wednesday morning, but mainly focused right now in our far southeastern counties, mainly even south of us. This will continue to move to the north northwest as we go through the day today. So mainly east of I-65. Now the cold front won't impact us until Thursday. So through the day on Tuesday. Here's what we're dealing with 6 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. Then as we go through it into Wednesday morning about 5 o'clock, this is all going to start to pull up to the northeast because that low now is going to be moving up the east coast. So that's all going to pull that way. But there's that cold front that's going to push in our direction. All of the dynamics are going to stay to the north around the Ohio River Valley. So severe weather is not going to be an issue, just mainly a few showers as it pulls off to the north and east. So we have on and off showers through much of the week. So have that umbrella handy and temperatures are going to stay mild 66 degrees in Bluntsville 65 in Birmingham.